Hello everyone and welcome back to Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. Just another big shout out for all of you at home who are liking these videos and those of you who have subscribed to the Shark Bites channel, it really does mean a lot to me. Before we begin today, make sure you check out our latest video here where we look at some new research done recently on the giant prehistoric shark, Megalodon. Back to today, however, and we have another Sharks in the News segment for you, and this one is definitely a strange one. So, let's check it out. Last week, a commercial fisherman in India discovered a tiny shark in his nets, but to his surprise, this shark had not one, but two heads. The tiny two-headed shark is believed to either be a spade-nosed or sharp-nosed shark, which inhabit the tropical waters of the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific. It's also thought to be the first time a two-headed shark has been documented from the waters surrounding the Indian state of Maharashtra. Weird, right? However, although incredibly rare, this phenomenon has been reported across the world and in several different species of shark. Back in 2008, a two-headed blue shark fetus was discovered inside its mother off the coast of Australia. In 2013, a two-headed bull shark fetus was found inside its mother near the Florida Keys. And in 2016, Spanish researchers found an Atlantic sawtail cat shark with the same deformity while raising sharks in the lab for human research. I also spotted a news article this morning of a one-eyed albino shark found off the coast of Indonesia. So this bizarre occurrence is happening across the world and in lots of different species of shark. The most interesting thing about the shark found in India, however, was that it was free swimming and not found inside its mother like in the other examples. Because of the limitations with this deformity, it's unlikely that any sharks born with this would be able to survive for very long. They essentially act as fish bait. I'm not sure how this individual shark in India was able to survive for long enough to be caught in these fishermen's nets. Perhaps it had just been born and inadvertently found itself very quickly in the nets. I'm not sure. The fisherman did elect to throw this two-headed shark back into the water. However, unfortunately, I don't imagine this shark will survive for very long. So why are sharks being born with two heads and in this morning's example with one eye? Well, the true answer is we don't really know. Some have suggested it may be due to increased chemicals and pollutants in the water. Although I think if it was this, we'd be seeing two-headed sharks born way more commonly. Others have hypothesized that due to issues surrounding overfishing, the shark gene pool is shrinking, which is leading to increased mutations. Although again, I think if this was the case, we'd be seeing it way more commonly than we currently are. Ultimately, it could merely be down to random chance and mutations are just a spontaneous fact of life. In reality, it's very difficult to pin down one causal reason for this happening, and it's likely that it could be a combination of all the things that I've previously mentioned. Regardless though, it does act as a constant reminder as to how incredibly complex and diverse the marine environment really is. In the fallout of this news segment across social media, people are suggesting that two-headed sharks are being reported more, and people are thinking maybe this is more of a common issue today. However, I think this is most likely due to an increase in connectivity of the world. More and more people have mobile phones capable of taking pictures of these animals, and we have more scientists than ever researching the marine environment, discovering them. So there you have it, cyclops sharks and sharks with two heads. It's never boring here on Shark Bites. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's episode. I hope you found it as weird and wonderful as I did. And if you did, please do give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below. See you next time.